Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Vanish. Well, I want to dig in the quest book a little bit further here in Ars Magica. And one of the things I want to get is I want to get all of these items. There's a few that I don't know how to get though. And one of them is Tarmaroot. But if I look, I can do it with a Vortex Infusion Recipe and it only takes seeds and stone, which I have, I think. Yeah, I have one seed, which I have. I mean, plenty of seeds. And uh, we need to get three, three stone. Let's see one two three and we're gonna take these over and along with some coal to get this whole thing started it does it does require the vortex infusion does require every time i every single time i do it it requires four coal just to get the uh the, the aura pumping up and down but this should work so now we're gonna do one two three and then the seed over here and then we'll just throw down all over here there we go all right, so now this should go. It's bouncing very fast. I think that's what it means whenever it has a recipe that does actually work. And this should give us a Tarma root, I believe. I think we have to get one. Where'd it go? There it is on the ground. Okay, cool. All right, so there's one. Now I need to get a Wake Bloom, a Desert Nova, and Witchwood Sapling. So let's check out a couple of these recipes. Desert Nova. How do we get this? Oh, cactus. Okay. And cactus is just for seeds. So I'm going to do that, I guess, three times. Again, not a big deal since we have EMC. So let's just grab a whole stack of seeds and come over here. Now, the aura is already pumping. It's going to be pumping here for 300 seconds. So I think we can just sort of throw it on, I think. And as long as this is going... Now, I do want to make sure. So to get the Desert Nova, it's, required, yeah, it's going to require three cactuses and a red die so after we get this going the second time which should be right about now no right about now is this going is this going it should be right am i not getting enough aura what's happening here huh hold on this is not this is not working oh 300 green it requires green aura Okay, that changes things. So this is any aura and this is green aura. So that means I actually need green aura crystals. So uh, I may have a problem because I don't know if I can actually get green dye. Uh, it's gonna require, okay, I'm gonna have to get, hmm, let's see. I wonder if I can do this. I don't, cause I don't have any cactus yet. Once I get any cactus, I should be good. What color would this be? Is this going to be green by any chance? Or, ah, oh, it is going to be cactus green. Um, I may only need to do this once, actually, because I think this has EMC. Let me see. Aura. Yeah, okay. Let's do eight of them, because I think that's the recipe, right? And then here we go. We can go like this, and then like that. Aha, yes. Okay, and then I'm actually going to throw that in. And then I'll take out eight of them again, because we're gonna put in two of these in each to make this recipe actually work. Now, I don't think I need to do that now that I have a source of green dye, but but since we're this far, why not? We'll put in, um, because this stuff, it, it never goes bad. It's good to have just for the next recipe. I think I already got it, I did. So now we have, we have access to cactus, which is great. Just exactly what I wanted. And I can learn that, I, and I can learn, can I learn Tarma Root? I can't learn Tarma Root, unfortunately, but I can learn Cactus, cool. Okay, so, now to get the next thing I want, I, it's gonna require three Cactus. What is the next thing I want? I, I already, I'm Desert, right? Desert, what's it called? Desert Nova, I think it's called? Uh, yeah, it's Desert Nova, it's gonna, we're gonna require red. Red, okay, so three, three cactuses and one desert or one red will get us this i think now i don't know does this require a certain kind no it doesn't it already won it already popped off okay there it is cool all right so the next thing that we got to do is i need to get a uh, witchwood sapling now how do i get a witchwood sapling let me see which wood sapling let me see here which wood uh, oh man, that's expensive. Three of these? What? Really? Three buckets of liquid ethereum. Huh. Okay, that's pretty darn pricey for one singular witchwood sapling. So if I want to get that, I can actually use dark power to get 
this. But that's, is that repeatable? It does seem like it is repeatable. Okay. So, all right. Well, let's go get a bucket, I guess. Man. Oh, I, if this had DMC, I'd be really happy. But I, I doubt very much it does. Let's go over this way. We're going to grab, we're going to grab, uh, I have over here, I have my liquid ethereum bucket. So let's, oh, I hear, I hear, I, I knew it. I knew it. I, I don't, have, I don't have my sword. I got to run. I got to run. My, my, my range attack doesn't work because of this, whatever debuff this thing has. Uh, let's see. Do I have my sword? I do. Okay. Where is he? Oh, he can't come in here. Oh, wait. <gasps> Look. Look. Come on. Come get me. He can't get close. He can't get close to this. That's so great. It's this torch, this interdiction torch that's holding him back. Oh, that's awesome. So, okay. So it's not going to be absolutely perfect because he can, this guy, the phantoms can still phase through walls. So like blah for that, but it is going to set up some sort of barriers that they are going to have trouble uh, passing through. Where is he? Is he gone? Did I kill him? I think I did. I think I killed him. All right, cool. So we have a liquid theorem. Let's see. Oh, that does not. Okay, that does not have a. Uh, unfortunately, that does not have a, uh, a EMC value. So we're going to manually submit this. Wait, do I not have my player focus? I don't. Where the heck is my player focus? Right there. You cannot lose this or you are in big trouble with this mod pack. All right. And let's get it. All right, so. Now I got three of these, which are placeable, and my one bucket. So let's go place these down. In fact, actually, we'll just place them like right here. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I thought would happen. I didn't think this was a, 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 a wide open pit. All right, grab a little bit, grab a little bit of a cobblestone here, and we'll just go up here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, here we go. We're at one, two, three. Why is that not placing? That's weird. Okay, there we go. No, it didn't place. It didn't place again. So that's not a source block. There, okay, now it did. Now it plays. Okay, so now what I need is I need... Let me see. Um, I need... Uh, let me see. Um... Where is this quest? I need, right here, I, I need a, a Witchwood Sapling. Okay, so to find this Witchwood Sapling, what I, what I need to do is I need to get three of these buckets and one just regular like Oak Sapling. So we can grab that sap Sapling and I'm gonna need uh, two more buckets. I mean, it's not, I guess it's not too much. It's only 10 dark power. That's not, that's not terrible. We'll go down we'll go over here and we'll grab, uh, let's see, this one and this one. Okay. And then we can put this on the Vortex Infusion and hopefully there's that and that and that. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Where is it? There's a uh, interdiction torch right here. I bet he can't even come down through the ceiling. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Then this thing will just drop these, these coal in because I think the coal ran out. There we go. And this is going to give us a Witchwood Sapling. Fantastic. Now, I'm going to need a, a room to put my Witchwood Sapling in. But that is awesome. Okay. So, now we need one more of these. We need a Wake Bloom. And I'm guessing... I bet I know how to get a Wake Bloom. I bet I would use my, my Growth Spell in water. That's my guess. Yeah. There is no recipe for that. So, let's see if I'm right. Oh, here. Here. Can I... Let's grab my growth spell. Where is it? Is it in here? Yeah. I think it's in my magic uh, right here. Yeah, accelerated growth. Okay. Let's see if this gives me a wake bloom right here. Is it going to? I don't know where exactly I need to aim the spell, honestly. Okay, that doesn't seem to be working or I'm getting really bad luck. Okay, not great. Not great, and I just used a lot of it. So, huh, okay, so, let's see. 
How am I going? Wake blooms. <laughs> it says right there. Wake blooms can be grown by using a grow spell in a pool of water. Okay, well, hmm. didn't didn't seem to be the case, but I mean, maybe. Okay, so we're just gonna need a bucket and another bucket, and uh, we'll we'll expand our water pool just a little bit. I don't want to make it too big because mobs can actually spawn in uh, water here, and it can be incredibly bad. Uh, like. Uh, incredibly bad uh, just really really dangerous mobs to spawn so we'll just go like this big and then let's go okay okay come on that that's a lot of growth spells I'm getting all these other things <laughs> look at all these other things I'm getting I mean lots of other die lots of other colors of die that's that's cool but no wake blue let's try again Maybe you stand in the water? I can't see that that would be... Oh, oh, I got one! Oh, I got lots of them. Yeah, I did. I had to be standing... For some reason, I had to be standing in the water. Look, look how many I got. Look how many wake blooms I got. Cool, okay. All right. Well, that worked out great. How many I got? I got 16 wake blooms. Seriously? Wow, okay. All right. Well, there we go. Okay, so this quest is officially done. I think it's done. Uh, pick one. What do I want? Well, I just got tons of wake blooms, so we'll take the witch wood wood because actually witch wood is a pretty good thing to make an altar out of so if i can't if i can't um find a uh a, a nether biome then i could always use witch wood whenever whenever i need to upgrade my altar which is not anytime soon so i don't think that i can put any of these things in here i'll try to put in everything i can oh which wood oh wow which wood has emc that's really 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 nice so actually i don't need a witch wood sapling now that i now they just got that in fact, I won't need to grow it at all because um, it's going to be it's going to be unlimited witchwood, which is actually I need witchwood for like witchwood wands and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's that's cool. Okay, all right. Well, so that's pretty successful. We got that. Now the next thing I can move into for this is liquid is, is getting Ethereum set up, which would be really nice. Probably a good way to actually get started. So if we started with Ethereum, uh, some spells require the magical powers of ethereum the most basic ethereum is the neutral type now before we get in that i want to actually make a kale factor and the reason why is kale factor when it's smelting things it will give you some bonus ventium dust which is really really nice so by having that by having that just kind of running all the time uh then i'm gonna get i'm gonna have a supply of ventium dust without having to mine which would be really really nice so i need one ventium dust two lapis redstone and four stone okay so we can probably remember that maybe maybe we can I already forgot I already forgot most of it actually I knew I know I need lapis I think I need two lapis and I know that I need one ventium dust see I don't have very much ventium dust that's the thing so I want to get this thing running right away redstone too okay there's redstone okay can I make this yes I can okay cool now this thing is awesome. So let's actually grab a chest. Let's, let's go ahead and go old school and make a hopper here. Um, I, oops. Iron. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. We'll make one of these and teach our system the iron, uh, the regular old hopper. And then what we can do is, let's see. Hopper, one, two. I'm going to set this up to be automatic and... Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to use in it yet. Something that I can, maybe just like, um, I don't, even, I don't even know, like maybe cobblestone or something. I don't know. Like, so where we're going to set this up is the other, the other question. So should I set it up over this way? I kind of feel like I should. Huh? Yeah, we may need to dig a room here. I mean, I really, I need, I kind of need a, uh, an AOE dig. I don't know if I have. I don't know if I can though, actually. I don't think I can make an AoE dig because I think that it would, oh, look at that. Oh, we're going right through. Okay, I did not realize that the wall to my actual base was there. Huh, okay. Uh, the AoE dig requires a couple things I don't think I yet quite have access to with Ars Magica. A couple of sort of special things, so. Hmm. Possibly. Let's set up, let's set this kale factor here and, and an obelisk. I'm also gonna have to make wizard, wizard's chalk as well to work, to make the sort of the neutral obelisk. I 
can't make this room that big actually because I just realized this is my stairs to go down to the mine which honestly we may not have to go down to all that much more often so let's just go ahead and dig this out here and we'll make this look a little bit nicer as we go over time but for right now I think we're okay we'll just doing it this way oh my I'm actually out of mana I haven't run out of mana in a little while okay so let's do a let's do a chest right here and we'll do a hopper going in we'll do the kale factor right there and then we'll ha I think I'm almost sure that it has to come in from up above I think hey I'll take that vinium dust though too because I need it <laughs> I do need it okay I assume this stuff is getting in yeah it, it's taking all the calls okay all right so we'll do well let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and take the time to do this clear out the room okay there we go all right, so now we, what we can do is we'll put the chest up right there. Okay. And now this thing will work automatically, but it does require some, it, it just requires some, some energy. So to get that energy, I'm going to need to make a neutral obelisk. And to make that, it requires first an obelisk, which I probably have. Let's go ahead and cook that up. Uh, let me see. How do you make an obelisk? I, or, I already forgot. Ob. Ob no, it's obelisk. No, it's not. Obelisk. There, it's there. It's all obelisk. Okay. And that requires four venium dust, a chiseled stone brick, and four stone. Okay. All right. So I'm going to require. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to require one, two, three, four of those, and I am going to require over here. Oof. I'm using all my venium dust. It's okay. We'll get more once we get this thing running all the time. Uh, let's see. I think we got to go. Is it like this? It is. Yeah. And then let's go ahead and teach it that. Okay. Chiseled stone. It's this guy right here. And can we make it? I think we can. There we go. Obelisk. Okay, cool. Next, I want to make wizard's chalk. <laughs> right here. Okay. So that requires flint. Clay. Uh oh, do I have clay? Oh, that may be a problem. Do I have clay at all? And is there a way to get it? Hmm. Not obviously. What about this? No? Okay. So, now there's a way in Batania, but obviously I haven't started Batania yet, so that's, that's problematic. Huh. How am I going to get clay in this world? I wonder. Does this thing have EMC? No. I am not sure how I'm going to get clay, actually. Huh. I got to really think this through here. So, this thing can run... This obelisk... No, this obelisk can run the kale factor, which is cool. But it can run on... It needs to go right there, actually. Nope. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we'll go... We have to open this up just a wee little bit bigger. Because then this thing needs... Oh, man. I can't remember how to do this. I don't remember exactly what the uh, what the, what the the circle is. You know, let's check the Ars Magica book. Because I, I don't I don't exactly remember what, what it is. I'm not sure how to get clay. I'm sure that I don't have any yet. No, no. Well, that's not even... That's not actually how you spell it, so... No, I don't have any clay. Hmm. The clay conia would, would work from Batania. But I would need... Uh, I need runes and stuff just to get one clay. Shoot. We may have to go mining. I'll tell you what I'm, I'm going to do. I'm going to go mining for clay in between episodes. So we'll do an episode. This is a world download day. I think this is, ep this is day 20. So I'm going to give you guys a world download right now where it is now. Then I'm going to go mining for a day or two. Try to find clay because I think clay does spawn in this world somewhere. I just don't know where. And hopefully find another biome and hopefully find clay. I'll see you all next time. Grab the world download if you want to. Simply magic uh, or uh, it's banished mod pack and just add extra utilities in. I'll see you all next time. Bye everybody.